More than 30 years ago, an idea was put forward that high colonic pH promoted colorectal cancer. High colonic pH may promote the creation of carcinogens from bile acids. It's a process that's inhibited once you get below a pH of about 6.5. This is supported by data like this, showing those at higher risk for colon cancer may have a higher stool pH, and those at lower risk a lower pH. Dramatic difference between the two groups, with most of the high-risk group uh, pH over 8, and most of the low-risk group pH under 6. This may explain the 50-fold lower rates of colon cancer in Africa compared to America. Uh, the bacteria we have in our gut depends on what we eat. If we eat a lot of fiber, then we preferentially feed the fiber-eating bacteria, which give us back all sorts of health-promoting substances like short-chain fatty acids that have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Most, more of these uh, organic acids in the stools of native Africans than in African Americans. More acids, so lower pH, whereas putrefactive bacteria eating animal protein, are able to increase stool pH by producing alkaline metabolites like ammonia. The pH of the stools of white versus black children in Africa was compared children, because you can more readily sample their stools, particularly the rural black school children who were eating such high-fiber diets— whole grains, legumes, nuts, vegetables, fruits, and wild greens— 9 out of 10 could produce a stool on demand. Stuff from head to tail with plants that could give you a stool sample at any time, as easy as getting a urine sample. Hard to even get access to the white kids, though, who were reluctant to participate in such investigations, even though they were given waxed cartons fitted with lids, and all the black kids got was a plate and a square of paper towel. What'd they find? Significantly lower fecal pH in those eating the traditional rural plant-based diets compared to those eating the Western diet, who were eating far fewer whole plant foods than the black children. But remove some of those whole plant foods, like switch their corn for white bread for just a few days, and their stool pH goes up, and add more whole plant foods, like an extra 5 to 7 servings of fruit every day, and their stool pH goes down even further, gets more acidic. Makes sense, right? I mean, what happens when you ferment plants, fruits, veggies, grains? They turn sour, like vinegar, sauerkraut, sourdough, right? Because good bacteria like lactobacillus produce organic acids like lactic acid. And those who eat lots of plants have more of these good bugs in their system. So uh, using the purple cabbage test, we want blue pee, but pink poo. No surprise then if you compare the fecal samples of those eating vegetarian or vegan, to those eating standard diets, plant-based diets appear to shift the makeup of the bacteria in our gut, resulting in a significantly lower stool pH. And the more plant-based, the lower the pH dropped. Uh, it's like a positive feedback loop. Fiber-eating bacteria produce the acids to create the pH at which fiber-eating bacteria thrive, while suppressing the group of less beneficial bugs. How long does it take to bring stool pH down on a plant-based diet? As little as two weeks. A dozen volunteers carefully selected for their trustworthiness and randomized to uh, sequentially go on regular vegetarian or vegan diets. And two weeks in, a significant drop in fecal pH was achieved eating completely plant-based. But there are plant-based diets, and then there are plant-based diets. Uh, remember these two groups? Dramatically different stool pH, yet both groups were vegetarian. But the high-risk group was eating mostly refined grains, very little fiber, whereas the low-risk group was eating whole grains and beans packed with fiber for a fiber-friendly flora to munch on. Just as a reduction in high serum cholesterol contributes to the avoidance of coronary heart disease, so a fall in the fecal pH value may contribute to the avoidance of bowel cancer, and through the same means, right, eating more whole plant foods.